Hi YouTube, so welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my bomber jacket collection. I was going to do this video as a try on, kind of like showing what they look like on. But I'm actually going to talk for you through them instead, just because I've really got that many. And I've actually been able to put them, I had to take off all my other clothing to have them on this well, so it would be easier to talk through them. So I'm going to start off from the blacks to the greens, but the greens are in the wrong place. I'm going to start off going in like colour coordination I guess so as you can see they're in colour coordination so it goes from the darks to the pinks to the greens to the greys to the navy to the black so from this side the first one that I'm going to show you is this one which is this one that I got from Her 21 back in 2015 it was £15 and it's just one of them like baseball jersey type bomber jackets. I'm not going to try them on because we'll be here forever. But this one was £15. Got it in a size UK large because it's the only one that they have left. And they work for quite a bit but I don't wear it anymore because it's quite, it's a bit too big for me. Next one I'm going to show you is from Primark. And it's this very popular one that everyone has. The amount of people I've seen in this bomber jacket is terrible. It's just a reversible bomber jacket and um, in I don't wear it on that side but inside it's reversible so you can wear it that way. I wear it on this side just because I like the flowers on it and it's like this nice satin material. I think I got this one in a size UK 18. I was actually trying to pick up a 16 and I ended up getting an 18. And on the back of it it's just got this nice kind of like flowery peacock print and that was £10. And I got that one back in the Primark sale in December. The next bomber jacket I'm going to show you is the one from Primark. Again, it's just this plain black one. This one's a size 16. I actually don't wear this one anymore. I've worn it once this year so far. But it's just this one. This one was £16. Pound. Got it last year, summer, for new and new bomber jacket. These are really thin and the pockets are really small. And I got this one in a size 16. It's just a plain black one with a silver detailing zip and yeah the next thing I'm going to show you is from H&M which if you've not seen my H&M collective um not collective or if you've not seen my H&M sale haul you'll see it in this you'll see it in that video which is this plain black one that I got but the reason why I decided to get the H&M one in black as well even though I only have three in black is because the pockets are actually bigger on this one and three of the pockets are that colour which I didn't realise when you zip it down, it's just this like pinkish brown colour, which I was quite amazed with. This one was £8 something, I think it was £8. UK size 18, it's still got the tag on it. The next one I'm going to show you is my satin pink one. Most of these are quite new actually, as you can tell, this one's quite creased. This one again is a UK 18. This one's from um, H&M. It doesn't have contrasting inside, but this one was only £6. Now I like pink now, I never used to like pink, but I like pink now, so I decided to obviously get a pink satin bomber jacket in a UK 18, and yep, that one was £6. The next one I'm going to show you is my lilac one. It's like a off, it's like a lilac purple colour. This one again was like, actually no, this one was £17 in store. I bought this one back in March, start of March, it was £17 in store. I kind of regret buying it in store because I could have got it online for like £8 or whatever. It's just this one, this one was size 16 because they only got size 16 in store but online they got up to like size 20 and I love it. I've worn it quite a lot, everyone likes the colour of this, I love the colour of this. The arms are a little bit dirty so I need to actually go back, I mean I need to put it to wash because it's a bit dirty. Now we're moving on the lighter colours and the main ones the green so as you can see I have my colour coordinated it's a little bit of a CD and so I've got all my four black ones my two purple ones and I've got my three shades of green I've got my two silver ones my two navy ones and then my two kind of like random ones so this one is the mint green one which again is £8 online and inside is dark green this one is a UK 18 I've got most of my jackets in an either 16 or an 18 
So I love it when I was only 20 because it was the only one I had left. I've worn this one quite a lot as well, I absolutely love it and it's on H&M. The next one I'm going to show you is this green one which again I paid £17 for this one in store because I bought these, this one back in March when it was like I guess on sale. I bought this one the other day actually, I think I bought this one on Thursday. I absolutely love it, in size orange, I didn't even realise it was orange until just now. And this one was £17.49 and I got it in UK 16 just because in store, as I said, it only got to size 16 but I got that one in UK 16. And then we're moving on to the last green one which is my big satin bomber jacket. I love it. It's, it's meant to be oversized people ask me why is this big so, um, why is it so big? I didn't intentionally buy it because it was oversized. I bought it because I just loved the colour of it and I thought I like this for the summer and it's just this oversized green one. You've got this like yellow gold detailing zip and pocket and the inside is actually black which I didn't even realise until now. I realised the inside of the jackets are black. This one's actually UK 14 and it fits perfectly fine. I did have this one in silver as well. I was going to go and buy it in silver but then I didn't really like that silver. It was like a really horrible silver colour. I've got that one in green. Absolutely love it. This one was actually £7, which I'm quite amazed by. Moving on to the grey ones now. So we've got two grey ones, which I'm not showing these as of yet because this is for my ASOS haul. But because I'm doing a bomber jacket collection video now, I thought I would incorporate these into the video. And the first one is this cropped puffer jacket. It's not a puffer jacket because it's like paper thin. This one's actually UK 14. It is a little bit too big for me. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I'm still contemplating whether or not I should send it back because it's a little bit too big and it looks like a space coat. But I saw a YouTube in it and I was working on it. This one was £15, £14 or £15 on ASOS. And yeah, absolutely love it. The next one I got is this um, Lux, I think it's called. Um, grey bomber jacket. This one's actually quite thick. To be honest, this is on like the same level as my um, satin green one, and it's just this nice grey looks bomber jacket. This is on UK 18. It's got this massive tag on it, so I take this off. I can't return it. So I'm gonna keep it on for now to see. This was 20 pound, which I think is my most expensive. For my jacket, not my puffer jacket, it's probably my puffer from my jacket I own. Got it today from ASOS, £20. I have it in the curve section in a satin grey colour. But I was debating whether I'm not to get an 18 because this is an 18 and it's quite big. But I absolutely love it, it's one of my favourite jackets. Moving on now to my lady ones, I've only got two lady ones, which you can see the difference in them. So the first lady one I got is from HM. This one will then was £8. And this is from UK18 and it's got burgundy inside, it's got gold detailing and yeah they're literally the same as all the other ones I've shown you and I absolutely love them. The last one I want to show you is this one here which is from Planet this is in the UK20, this is the biggest bubble jacket in size that I own, oh, don't wear them anymore, absolutely horrendously dirty and it needs washing. I've not worn this one in like two, I think I've not worn this one since 2015, potentially. They used to wear it a lot to work, I don't wear it anymore. It's still there, I need to wash it. Horrible material, that, that noise makes my head hurt. The inside was pink, which I liked, and yeah, this one was £7 in their sale back in 2014. I've had this one for three years, nearly. And then the last two bomber jackets I've got. One is a proper jacket, one a long line bomber jacket I got from New Look. It's just this smart long line bomber jacket. Um, I wanted to get this one in burgundy as well but when they sold out when I went to get back to get it. It's just this long line bomber jacket in this speckled grey with black tips. And this one was £20, originally 40 I think, no I got it for £30 I believe. And I've worn it a few times but I don't really wear it. It looks like a doctor's coat and um, I don't really wear it at the house. The next and the last jacket I'm going to show you is one of my favourite ones which is actually from Doggy Burkins and I love Tasha Green. 
a blue plushy green house this one as well. I bought some back in November and it was on the Black Friday sale weekend. It was originally I think £55 and I got it for £27. And it's just this black proper jacket from Dirty Bathroom. But this one is size 14. I do still wear this actually, I always feel the other day. It's super comfortable and it's got a hood. I don't obviously use the hood. Forget that I even have a hood and it's just got this nice high zip. Puffer and around the back, it's got this like kind of like watch detail in the waist. And this one was £27.50, I believe. I can't remember how much it was. That is pretty much all of my other Um As I said, I have a lot. And I don't know where I'm going to put all my clothes because I've took all my clothes off the rail. Obviously, I could show you the bomber jackets, but now I have to put back on the rail. And I'm a bit like, oh. I have too many bomber jackets but comment down below if your favourite one I think my favourite one has to be that one and that one they're my two favourite ones my new favourite one obviously is this one I don't wear it anymore but yeah if you don't follow me on social media then I'll link it down below and I'll link it here and here so my twitter is at Serena EB and my instagram is at Serena B thank you for watching and I'll see you again in my next video bye